The Zero Gordon Murray T27 Gordon Murray is an important name in the automotive world, as it designed the first world's fastest production car, namely the McLaren F1. Its latest creation however is at the opposite side of the spectrum, as it's the world's most efficient car. The new T27 is an electric version of the T25 model and it's basically a three-seater city car designed and built at Gordon Murray Design Studio Workshop near Guilford, built with maximum efficiency in mind. The new T27 is greener than its sibling, as it's fitted with an innovative electric drivetrain produced in collaboration with Zytec, like the T25. The T27 is aimed at the urban city environment and the company says that it sets new standards in weight, dynamics, safety, packaging and efficiency. The green footprint of the vehicle is assured by a 25 kW electric motor powered by a pack of Li-ion batteries which offer a 100-mile range. Design Using the same iStream manufacturing technology as its sibling, the T27 was designed from the ground up for city driving. However, one of the requirements of any respectable city car is to be as small and as spacious as possible, so the T.27 needed to respect it. This is why the car measures only 2.50 meters long, 1.60 meters tall and 1.30 wide with a wheelbase of 1.78 meters. These compact dimensions were essential for the vehicle's urban agility and they are also translated into an ultra-tight turning radius of only 6.0 meters. With a narrow and tall stance, the design options were pretty limited, as it was nearly impossible to avoid a bulky shape. Though, despite the bulky proportions, the company's designers managed to create a pretty attractive body. The body of the car gels seamlessly with the cab's widows, forming a unitary design with a sloped front and an abruptly cut-off tail. Up front there is no grille or air vents and the only present elements are the dual headlights which seem to pop out from the oversized fenders. On both sides of the body, we'll find a set of sloped creases sculpted deep into the body. Thanks to these creases, the air flows smoothly along the sides and it's directed towards the back, helping the car slide easier through the air. Interior The Gordon Murray T27 comes without any conventional doors, so if you want to step inside, you have to literally split the car in two pieces by flipping the front end forward. We admit that's pretty shocking, but in time you'll get used to it and probably, you'll even start to love it. Once you'll pass the initial shock, you'd better be ready for a second one, as you are greeted by a central mounted driver's seat. Despite the compact exterior dimensions, the company managed to mount a rear bench behind the driver's seat, so the cabin can accommodate a total of three adults. As you've probably guessed, none of the seats will reward you with acres of space, but we'll have to admit that leg and head room is reasonable. Naturally, the driver receives the most comfortable seat and we're also glad to notice that the front and side visibility is first class. On the other hand, the rearward view is a bit hard to obtain, as there is no central mirror and you'll have to deal with a deceiving set of four mirrors. Once you've understand how to deal with the rear view visibility, you'll have to get used with the central driving position which makes you feel like piloting a jet fighter. This sentiment is also enhanced by the simple instrument cluster and the round buttons that flank it. Engines and performance You can start the electric motor by simply switching the key and twisting the round knob found on the dash which lets you select between three modes front, back or neutral. As it was expected, there is no clutch and all you have to do is release the parking brake and then push the go pedal. Compared to the T25, the T27 is slightly faster thanks to the instant torque offered by the electric motor. Despite the fact that the maximum power is rated at only 34 horsepower, the car has enough grunt to move lively around the city and can run from 0 to 100 kmph in less than 15 seconds with a maximum speed governed at 105 kmph. The vehicle's weight is also playing a major role in this equation, as it's rated at only 680 kg including the lithium-ion battery pack. Talking about batteries they require 4 hour for a full charge and offer a range of up to 100 miles. Ride and Handling Given the narrow and tall stance of the car, one could think that the T27 finds it hard to stay on its wheels. Well, let's not forget that we are talking about a company that forged its good reputation on the racetracks, so they know a thing or two about road stability and handling. 
The T27 was a good opportunity to put Gordon Murray talents to the test and the results are as high as the expectations were. Not only that the car's height doesn't affect its stability but the wheels are able to stay glued to the ground even in situations that seem hard to be believed. Moreover, compared to the T25, the T27's body feels even better balanced, courtesy of the low-mounted battery pack which keeps the center of gravity lower. Verdict The T27 is a pretty interesting concept that proves us Gordon Murray's interest for innovative packaging and efficient technologies. The vehicle has many positive attributes which make it an efficient and reliable city car. Not to mention about the superior handling and the superb body balance that it's rarely achieved in a car with such proportions. Unfortunately, the T27 it's not for sale, but the technology behind it is. The company says that if the T27 would enter production, its estimated price could be somewhere around $10. If you liked this video, please share your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to hit the subscribe button.